Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. We're here in my my playthrough, episode 5, but starting in-game, episode 3, A Crooked Mile. Let's get right into it. Alright, so it's going to recap from last time. We figured out that juicy information about Crane. We, uh, we Our fought beasts. Oh, here we go. so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. Mm -hmm. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. Yeah, I was so lost when that happened. I was like, what? I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not mm. going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's... Her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. <laughs> the pudding and My pie. My name is Nerissa. The Little Mermaid! Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. There's the key Open to arms. the very moment that took oh place itself. Yeah, yeah, he was so shook. It's he was like, what? Crane. Yo, Bigby was so shook when he saw that. I was just sitting in the car bonding with that man over a dead Snow White, and the next thing you know, I'll find a picture of him with her. Yeah, like, mind-boggling for me right now. Oh, his fist is clenched. Oh, yeah, he angry. Uh, uh, fucking creep, spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. I can't just go off murdering people. What's going people. on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Uh, I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? I want to be mean to beast. Shit! Crane's been... Uh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. What's going where on? Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? No. Nope. She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Oh, well, that's right, that's funeral? right. Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. Oh. They were on their way out. Big B! Oh, Wait. I'm pissed. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What do when you, you tell her. Mean? And you should tell her. But... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. She wants you to be nice. I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright, so my theory right now that I've cooked up in my head is that Crane really does have a weird romantic obsession with Snow White, but I believe he got set up. Like, that was a chance for the real killer to set him up. Maybe he didn't murder uh, Holly or Lily. It was Lily, right? Maybe he didn't murder Lily. But the person who did realize that they can capitalize on the timing, the window that was so small. Oh, we're at the funeral. We're just gonna bust in. Don't even. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I'm just not gonna I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that 
it will never subside. Look at But I also know that that the memory of Lily. I'll miss worrying about well. you. I'll miss and it our fights. In time, I'll miss you. Equal in strength Holly. to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about. Now you will never die so from indifference or lead a tedious life. Goodbye, she sweetheart. Could be stubborn Thanks and for everything. Patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for You were a um, big, bright, Patrick. shining star. And in most this of all, it of seems town. how and I miss Lily you already. Loved, dearly loved mm. her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Are you serious? Uh, uh, what do I do? I don't want to make everybody mad. Um, I think all I can do is. Say, is everything okay? Oh, no, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after Yo. what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That yeah. was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. What do I say? Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. There we go. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly, this is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat. Far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, I hope Holly, I went about I that well. know how this must. No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, mm. I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Oh, she's mad. <laughs> this better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, all right? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he mm -hmm, was... Mm -hmm. You know, he replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I thought... I thought that Crane might be here. Out of some twisted respect or something. 
I don't know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, don't you trust it would mean me? more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. I thought you trusted me more than that. I do. But you've got a hot head and a big heart. And sometimes that's not the best Bruh. combination. I have Look, the photo. Let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. It better not be a setup. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Uh... No? I, uh... I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! I don't know if I should just be straight up with all the details of everybody. Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Yo, wait, yo, yo, yo! Girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you Jagovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. No, 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 Just no, 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 pay no. attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother? Speak your mind. Fastly now. Um, just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, what? gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Uh... Settle down, settle down now. Yeah, everyone just stay where you are, nice and natural. I'm not making any deal with you, so just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. Uh-oh. Did I pick right? What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? No? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business. My God, what is going on? You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Yeah, uh. Listen to your lady, love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god! I got it, dumb. Uh. Move the shotgun. Snow. Snow. Oh my god! Snow's right on the other side of the shotgun. Move! Oh, okay. Everyone's getting shot!
Oh my god, I just got her killed. What the fuck? I... I don't even know what to say. <sighs> what the fuck, dude? I got shot in the shoulder. Holly's now dead. Gren got shot. This is just wild. I, I did not expect for that to happen. That's not how I wanted it to go down. I didn't want Holly to die too, that's crazy. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. Okay. So I left Shh. her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper right, and spring everyone's water. everyone's good. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> and uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Hmm. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. We know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafter. <laughs> what about cover it. And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So I guess that's the plan currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah, if, if my theory's right, sense. and he's being he's, set up, it's not he him. He was a conniver, a... A coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. Uh... I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Man, I didn't know Can what to I do. There was so much about to go down. They both had shotguns. Personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Oh, great. Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city. 
It feels kind of like home. Oh. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. What? Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I was I just curious. It doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean? Do you take a piece? piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. What's the hard no. way? We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <gasps> we can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Let me just talk to Buffkin and see what he meant. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Uh, you see anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Uh, Look, uh, the whole mirror thing. It's not your fault, it's mate. It's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Be nice to buff Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm <laughs> only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Buffkin, why did you not slay Crane? How dare you. Alright, now we can look through his desk. Alright, let's check it out. Inbox. 207 key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Oh, uh, you don't want to know. I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and You want to know? I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? We'll get him. Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Uh, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit that I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like you to fix it. The air we like, we asked you three months ago at the very least, provide us with a fan in the meantime. Boy Blue. 
all these nodes. You said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out with the room as it is, and I've already been waiting four days now. You mentioned you already promised me you sent someone to fix a big crack in the glass in front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Dang, Toad was mad. Oh. Wolf strength. Huh? Yeah. We found something. Office business affairs. Oh, he There's ripped out a page. Here that was torn out. Oh yeah. Buffkin, do you know what was here? The ring, it's a ring of... at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Yeah, you didn't want to hear about well, that. Yes, it sounded like the one he got his uh you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, oh. can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried... No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. No, Since we're not pinning it on him. Every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. I don't know what else to say. We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been uh... doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office Ooh. while he does so. Well, then. Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And <laughs> that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so... chances are you won't have time. 
I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't heated. go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? It's gonna make me choose. Find the witch. Oh my God! So leave Crane alone, and we we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. So oh no! No, I'm better off dealing. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Ah, oh, a three-way split. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. You and all your acquaintances. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need cheer. I don't know what to do. Join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Crane's apartment, Holly's bar, D's office. So you leave Crane alone, and we. No, Fuck! I don't know what to do. Um. 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 Crane alone. I don't know. But there's some business I need to attend to. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. I don't know. Why else would you need to go to D's office or Holly's bar So you leave. The find D to figure out more info or go to Holly's Holly's bar to find more evidence. Oh I don't know. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. You leave Crane alone, you and we and leave you alone. No, I'm better off dealing with things um, alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need you. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Uh, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. Uh, join you, but there's some business. So you leave uh, Crane alone, and we uh, uh, things alone. Uh, so you leave Crane alone, and we uh, leave you alone. You and Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. I didn't know. We're sticking with it. Oh well. <laughs> it's the closest thing. She said we have a couple of hours. We don't want to kill time trying to get over to a different location when we're already right here. Oh shit. Which door was it? Crane.
I'm timed. Yo, everything I do is gonna kill time. Damn it. I'm nervous Must have now. Missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. I'm just searching as quick as I can. Picture? Examine, examine. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Talk to yourself faster, Big B. Math, science, history. I had to guess. This <laughs> shit didn't work. <laughs> the joy of love making. Just Yep, just turn it on. This hasn't like been used in girls. years. I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and... Merry Christmas, Friday. Mr. Crane. Thanks yeah. for all the help God. this year. Sincerely, right. Jeremy. Everybody can stay <laughs> upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya! Headless Horseman. Oh, I, okay. in the envelope. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. Ah. What's going on here? I'll take the money this time. We're deep into this dirty business now. My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. What the hell is that even supposed to mean? Take the key. Come on. Might be useful. Okay, we got a key. What is the key to? Go, 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 go. Anything in here? Nope. Crane statue. Really? <laughs> Bedroom door. I can use the key. What's up, buddy? Back. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. What are you doing here, buddy? This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain, Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So... Nah, anyways, fam. Uh, don't buy it. Now that I'm done... I don't see any plans. Hey! Okay! You got oh, yeah. me. You wanted Just to fight me before? Don't make a big deal out of this. Nah, this you're somewhere you shouldn't be. Necessary. Start talking, Jack. Okay, okay. You should not be here, Jack. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? Do you know where Crane is? Have you heard anything else about him? No. Should I have? <laughs> what else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. So don't, you know, hit me again. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? 
No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <clears throat> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Searching for are you just Crane. Wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. So what's the point? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Oh. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. If it's information you want, I'm the guy to ask. I know things. I could be really useful to someone like you. What do you mean? You're looking for Crane, right? Well, I don't know where he is. But what if I told you I know who might know where he is? Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information How comes convenient. at a price, though. How convenient. Convenient for you, Sheriff. I got the info you need. This is an easy win. Give Let's him the money? Ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find the <laughs> witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenland. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. If you're looking for Crane, she might know how to find him. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. <laughs> uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Okay. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. What's in the bag? Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Yeah, I need that, buddy. Dear, do you always talk to yourself like that? <laughs> the witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. <laughs> it's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Uh... You nervous about something? What do you mean? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't steal anything else. Come on, Jack. <laughs> that it? Pick me? Oh, you're so lucky. Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Mm -hmm. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at two. Just to be honest. <laughs> and we have no idea where she is. Uh, I don't know about something. We have to figure out Check where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in 
in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't oh. have much time. Oh, Joe, I can either go to the trip trap or the office now. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he still got caught. Oh, hi, Peter. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. The last <laughs> guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Uh, what brings you here? Who are you talking to just now? Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just Damn. super annoying. I just finished cleaning. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He said he'd make sure I got fired. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get Damn. lost. Damn! The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. There's no way they'll be okay with this, though. Well, Crane is gone now. I... I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, shit. Is everything okay? I should've went to go. the apartment. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh... Just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. Hmm. I don't know what to take away from that altercation yet. Oh, we're running out of time. 1.15 a.m. 45 minutes left. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Guys, open up. It's the sheriff. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. <laughs> well, come on in, buddy. Oh. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some <laughs> hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, sure. 
Thanks. Did I get on Grin's good side? I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Grin, He's drunk too. Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Damn. Grin, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> God. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Oh my goodness. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel <laughs> like having a drink, okay? There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. And anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. <laughs> She's had a very traumatic experience. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? <laughs> yeah. Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I'm not trying to heat things up. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. Just get it done real quick. Come on. To the dead. Out of respect. One shot should not hurt. All right, now help me. Grand. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you Dang. fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Oh my buddy. god. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. <laughs> so let's go you know on. Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. 
What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? Tweedledee I'm came curious. in here two nights ago. Why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I, I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All right. I don't think that was the right one. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think Save that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> what a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Hmm. Gren won't remember this. <laughs> oh boy. Now I'm about to look around. Alright. I think this might be a good time to stop the episode manually for once without the time running out so thank you everybody so much for tuning into this episode of the wolf among us if you have enjoyed please drop a like down below it's always appreciated comment down below how your christmas went let me know what you got for christmas i'm curious i want to know hope you had a great christmas subscribe for more stay cool stay awesome stay safe oh and comment down below if i would have asked woody the other question what would the answer have been i'm curious Subscribe for more. Stay cool. Stay awesome. Stay safe. I'll see you all in the next episode of The Wolf Among Us. Goodbye.